So here we see Toulouse-Lautrec. Um, many of you may know he was a very, very small in stature. Um, he came from a very aristocratic family who intermarried far too many times. And because of that, he had um, many ailments. And one of those was his bones broke very easily. And his father um, was this very manly man who wanted him to be a writer. And he kept pushing him to be a writer and a hunter. And poor Toulouse-Lautrec just wanted to be an artist, which was not which was not something that his parents approved of at all. So they kept pushing him to ride. And he broke his legs so many times riding and falling off horses from his very brittle bones um, that he, ba he basically stunted his growth. So he said, to heck with this arist aristocratic lifestyle, I'm going to Paris. Um, so we have this very famous image on the right, um, the Englishman at the Moulin Rouge. And the Moulin Rouge was this very famous um, Parisian cafe, which was, was, was known, well known for the can-can, very famous cabaret in Paris, otherwise known to us in 2001 from Nicole Kidman's performance in that wonderful Baz, Buzz Lorman film. Um, so here we see the Englishman in this very silhouetted form talking to these two women, definitely women of ill repute, and we can only imagine what it is that he's asking them about. We can um, go no further there. But one interesting thing to think about the posters, now there's these, there are these incredibly expensive, deluxe works of art that we see hanging on the walls of museums, beautifully matted, beautifully framed. But here's how they were really used. Um, this is a photograph by Atche from 1898, and it's a uh, Parisian street. And here we have, a, you see a man here who's pasting up the posters. So this, and I show you here, um, Toulouse-Lautrec's very famous La Goulou, another uh, a woman dancing. I mean, it's this kind of poster with the lettering that would have been pasted on the, on the streets of Paris. And that's why it's really hard to find them in very good condition, because they were used in that way. Um, some of the other lithographs that Toulouse-Lautrec made were bought, that we'll see were bought more in series as fine art prints, but a lot of them were used for actual posters. So this is another wonderful portfolio that Toulouse-Lautrec made in 1897. And here we see the cover, and it's L. Very difficult word to translate into French. Um, directly, it's, it's sort of the women, but what it really, mean is, what it really means is those women. Um, so Toulouse-Lautrec um, spent a lot of time in brothels. Um, he, a lot of his friends were can-can dancers, were prostitutes. Um, he had a, a great love of absinthe, was eventually killed. He eventually died in part of alcoholism. Um, but here we see he has this very affectionate relationship with these women. It's not the sort of voyeuristic um, looking. These are his friends and these are his confidants. Um, and so here we see a woman putting her hair up. This is the gentleman who is implied but we don't see. Here's his hat. And she's taking off part of her clothes and throwing them on the chair so we know what's about to happen. And this portfolio showed a variety of times of day. You know, them sleeping, waking up in the morning, going to bed at night, performing their work, um, but in this very sensitive way. And he created this portfolio of prints for this man named Pele. And Pele printed only pornographic imagery. That was sort of his, his market. There was, there was definitely a market for, for pornography at the time. So in a way, he must have felt this was rather tame um, when we see these images. This is another one. Um, called the seated clowness on the right, which is on the wonderful posters that you see outside. And this was a woman um, that Toulouse-Lautrec was very close with. Um, and he showed her, she did this, this crazy kind of can-can, and she, and she had a name for it. But here we see, we see her relaxing. So she's a clowness, she's seated here, and then there's another man in a top hat, you know, making this sort of suggested, suggestive gesture at the woman next to her, probably again in the cabaret but these amazingly gorgeous colors that he used. He was just an absolute master of lithography. Um, and one of the things he did, and I really encourage you to get up close to these works, is he would actually splatter the paint um, or splatter the ink when he was creating these lithographs. So it has this very, um, this very vibrant, very evocative uh, texture to it. 